George Robert Stibitz is internationally recognized as one of the fathers of the modern, first digital computer. He was a Bell Labs researcher known for his work in the 1930s and 1940s on the realization of Boolean logic digital circuits using electromechanical relays as the switching element. Stibitz was born in York, Pennsylvania. He received his bachelor's degree from Denison University in Granville, Ohio, his master's degree from Union College in 1927, and his Ph.D. in mathematical physics in 1930 from Cornell University. Computer. In November 1937, George Stibitz, then working at Bell Labs, completed a relay-based calculator he later dubbed the Model K, which calculated using binary addition. Replicas of the Model K now reside in the Computer History Museum, the Smithsonian Institution, the William Howard Don't Library at Denison University and the American Computer Museum in Bozeman, Montana where the George R. Stibitz Computer and Communications Pioneer Awards are granted. Bell Labs subsequently authorized a full research program in late 1938 with Stibitz at the helm. Their complex number computer, completed in November 1939, was able to do calculations on complex numbers. In a demonstration to the American Mathematical Society Conference at Dartmouth College in September 1940, Stibitz used a teletype to send commands to the complex number computer in New York over telegraph lines. It was the first computing machine ever used remotely. Wartime activities and subsequent Bell Labs computers. After the United States entered World War II in December 1941, Bell Labs became active in developing fire control devices for the U.S. military. The lab's most famous invention was the M9 gun director, an ingenious analog device that directed anti-aircraft fire with uncanny accuracy. Stibitz moved to the National Defense Research Committee, an advisory body for the government, but he kept close ties with Bell Labs. For the next several years, with his guidance, the labs developed relay computers of ever-increasing sophistication. The first of them was used to test the M9 gun director. Later models had more sophisticated capabilities. They had specialized names, but later on, Bell Labs renamed them Model 2, Model 3, etc. And the complex number computer was renamed the Model I. All used telephone relays for logic and paper tape for sequencing and control. The last of this series, the Model V, was completed in 1946 and was a fully programmable, general-purpose computer. Although its relay technology made it slower than the all-electronic computers then under development. Origin of the term, digital. In April, 1942, Stibitz attended a meeting of a division of the Office of Scientific Research and Development, charged with evaluating various proposals for fire control devices to be used against Axis forces during World War II. Stibitz noted that the proposals fell into two broad categories analog, and pulse, in a memo written after the meeting. He suggested that the term, digital, be used in place of pulse, as he felt the latter term was insufficiently descriptive of the nature of the processes involved. The word, digit, at the time had two common meanings, the ten fingers of one's hands, and the numbers chapter 0 through 9. The adjective, digital, was also in use, although it was not as common. For example, among physicians, a digital examination referred to the use of a doctor's finger to palpate part of the body. Stibitz's memorandum was the first known use of the term digital to refer to calculating machinery. Awards Harry H. Good Memorial Award in 1965, IEEE Emanuel R. Pyre Award, 1977, IEEE S. Computer Pioneer Award, 1982, Election to the National Academy of Engineering, 1981, Election to the National Inventors Hall of Fame, 1985. Stibitz held 38 patents, in addition to those he earned at Bell Labs. 
He became a member of the faculty at Dartmouth College in 1964 to build bridges between the fields of computing and medicine, and retired from research in 1983. Computer art. In his later years, George turned to non-verbal uses of the computer. Specifically, he used the Commodore Amiga to create computer art. In a 1990 letter, written to the department chair of the Mathematics and Computer Science Department of Denison University, he said, I have turned to non-verbal uses of the computer and have made a display of computer art. The quotes are obligatory, for the result of my efforts is not to create important art but to show that this activity is fun. Much as the creation of computers was 50 years ago, the Mathematics and Computer Science Department at Denison University has enlarged and displayed some of his artwork. Publications Stibbets, George, Larry V. Jules A. Mathematics and Computers New York McGraw-Hill